بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنیکلی ایکسپلین ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ڈسکس دی ورکنگ آف دا جنکشن فیلڈ افیکٹ ٹرانزسٹر فار دا کنڈیشن وچ واز وی جی ایس از ایکول ٹو زیرو واٹ اینڈ وی ڈی ایس از ایکول ٹو وی ڈی ڈی وچ از سم پازیٹیو ویلیو سو اگین وی جی ایس از ایکول ٹو وی جی مائنس وی ایس is equal to 0 which implies that vg is equal to vs or vs is equal to vg so what we did was that we short circuited this gate terminal with this source terminal and because vgs was equal to 0 volt so we connected a ground over here so this is also 0 volt and this gate terminal is also 0 volt and then we have vds is equal to vdd some positive value so we connected a positive uh, um, so we connected a battery over here and we connected a positive terminal of the battery to the drain and the negative terminal to the source and this was our VDS is equal to VDD and uh, we also said that we have two PN junction regions and the PN junction at the top region becomes wider as compared to the bottom region this was about the previous video now in this video we are going to discuss about the pinch of voltage and then we are also going to discuss uh, about the graph between the ID versus uh, between ID versus VDS so to first discuss about this VDD we say that this VDD is a variable source so with this VDD our VDS is going to be increasing so we are going to keep increasing this VDS so VDS is going to be increasing when the VDS is going to be increasing the conventional current ID is also going to be increasing because we know that according to Ohm's law when the voltage is increasing the current increases proportionally so if the voltage VDS is going to be increasing the ID is also going to be increasing and this depletion region is going to become wider and wider fine so with increasing VTS ID is increasing and this depletion region is also increasing if we increase the VTS to a level where this depletion region appears to touch each other these two depletion regions appear to touch almost touch each other then the voltage VTS here is called the pinch of voltage VP again I am repeating this if we increase VTS to a level where these two uh, uh, depletion regions appear to meet, uh, meet each other or appear to touch each other then this VTS voltage is called the voltage VP which is the pinch of voltage remember that they appear to touch each other in reality they do not touch each other why they do not touch each other because if they touch each other then the current id follow following uh, flowing here will be zero if the current id following flowing here is zero that's we are supposing that suppose these two depletion region touch each other let's suppose then the current id will be zero here because there is no path for the flow of current for the current id when the current id is zero here we will have zero volt over here at the drain and we also have zero volt at the gate terminal and source terminal so in that case there will be no reverse biasing because both the drain and the gate terminal are at zero volt so there are no reverse biasing when there is no reverse biasing the depletion region will never become wider at the top as compared to the bottom so the phenomena of pinch off will not occur so that's why we said that this uh, these two depletion regions never uh, touch each other and the id current never becomes zero so now we will draw a graph between the current id and the voltage vds so in x axis i have the voltage vds on y axis i have the current id when we increase the voltage vds from zero to some positive v value the current id is going to increase proportionally as determined by ohm's law and the resistance of this channel is going to be some constant and it will remain constant over here now 
at a time when the depletion regions appear to meet each other for example this is the point where the depletion the two depletion regions appear to meet each other meet each other the voltage at this at this vds is called the pinch of voltage at the pinch of voltage the current id is going to become constant and then it will continue to be constant till further and this is the case for voltage vgs remember for vgs is equal to zero and vds is equal to some positive value when the vds was increased from zero to some positive value at before vp before the pinch the pinch of phenomena occurred we have a linear graph as determined by ohm's law when the pinch of uh, when the pinch of voltage is reached this current id becomes constant remember that the current id does not become zero as as i explained earlier because if the current id becomes zero it is implicating that the drain voltage is also zero and the gate voltage is also zero so there will be no reverse bias and because of no reverse bias there will be no widening of depletion region phenomena so this uh, disproves our uh, hypothesis in the first place which says that id is equal to zero so id will not become zero in fact id will become a constant and the current at which the id become constant will be called as idss now here the slope is zero the slope is given by uh, v, uh, uh, is, is given is given by v by r is given by i by r sorry i by v and the resistance is v by i so the resistance is 1 by slope here the slope is 0 so the resistance will be infinity so the resistance of this n channel has almost become infinite and because of this we have a constant cover current over there and we call this current as idss so what is IDSS? ID, DS means drain to source current and S means short circuit. It refers to the short circuit between the gate and source. So IDSS is the maximum drain current. What is IDSS? IDSS is the maximum drain current. Is the maximum drain current. For conditions, what were the conditions for conditions VGS is equal to 0 volt and VP is greater uh, and VDS is greater than VP VDS this VDS is greater than VP so VDS is greater than VP so IDS is the maximum drain current for which the VGS is equal to 0 volt and VDS is greater than the magnitude of the pinch of voltage. As you can have a look over here that this voltage is greater than VP and in this voltage we have the current IDSS. And, and then so this is the graph between ID and VDS. This is our pinch of voltage. The pinch of voltage occurs here. And after the pin, pinch of voltage, the current ID remains constant. And this is the maximum current the drain, the drain current can have. So this is the maximum drain current with gate and source short circuited. So this was all about the working of the junction field effect transistor for the case number one which was VGS is equal to zero volt and VDS is equal to VDD is, is equal to some positive value. In the coming video we will discuss the case number two where VGS is some negative value. Thank you.